Hello everyone, my name is Heather and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my Gilmore Girls Project Pan Finale, which is a collab with LS, who I adore. We've collabed before. I didn't mean for that to rhyme. We, I never did a second update to this project. Um, it was kind of smack dab in the middle of the month that was really, really hard for me, which was last month. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, but I continued to work on quite a few of these products and I've actually finished a few more since the my first update. So that's good. So let's just get into it really quickly. Season one's product was my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Um, it is gone. I can't get any more out of it. I mean, it, it looks like there's still more along the walls and there there is, but I don't have one of those makeup spatula things. I'm not gonna get one. I didn't love this foundation enough to try and like scrape out every little bit. Um, but I mean, you can see that there are parts along the wall where I tried to scrape it as best I could with the, um, the little spatula that they provide. But yeah, and there was definitely some more down on the bottom, but I stored it upside down for a really long time and I couldn't get any more out, so. This I'm calling empty. And you know what's great is since I'm not doing empties videos anymore, I get to just throw this away, which is really nice. Um, if you watched one of my last videos where I was talking about the thing, tackling some things I've been procrastinating on, uh, one of the things was cataloging all of the empties that I'd collected so that at the end of the year I can see on a piece of paper how many empties I had rather than actually hoarding them for the entire year. I can't remember if this was done in the last update, but the season two product was from my Kat Von D shade and light palette and that was Somber, which is the contour shade and it is completely gone. I have had this palette since August of 2016, just to give you an idea um, of how long it's been taking to use up every single pan in this palette, although this dark shade I will not be trying to pan, um, but I am currently working on the last side bits of shadow play in here. And when this is gone, I will be throwing this palette out. Season three uh, product was a little bit of a snafu for me. So the first one I chose was ColourPop Lumiere, but I that was gone in my first update for sure. But the second product, the summer product I chose was my Saint Tropez um, self tanner and I did use this once <laughs> um, and I really messed up on it I did not do a very good job applying it but at the beginning of the project it was 7.4 fluid ounces now it's 7.1 so it's something um, I'm gonna hang on to it and see if I continue to use it but if I still have it by the end of the year I'm throwing it out because it's definitely past its expiration date it still performed all right I think it was just user error when I messed up on it. So yeah, but by the end of the year, if I still am holding on to this and I haven't used it, I'll be throwing it out. The season four product I chose was uh, the eyeshadow Half Baked in my Urban Decay Naked palette. And that's right here. Come on, focus on just the palette. There we go. So there's still a dip. Um, when I do my makeup now, it has been primarily for the show. Um, and I do not use Half Baked for the show. Uh, I use, I'm trying to use that Buck mostly um, and Dark Horse that are the two colors that I've been using for the show. I, I'm not gonna be doing Pan That Palette videos anymore. Um, so if you are following me on my Pan That Palette journey, which I'm still gonna try and be panning this palette, but just not officially. There's kind of my progress on everything right now. Um, I almost have side pan on Buck, which is really exciting. I've been using it in my eyebrows for the show. So yeah, anyway, um, so yeah, half baked. I didn't end up hitting pan on, but you know, I don't wear makeup to work anymore. <laughs> um, and it just wasn't a color I was using for the show. So the season five product was a little sample perfume of the Chloe per perfume. I'm pretty sure that was gone by the first update. Um, season six was my Urban Decay uh, heavy metal glitter liner in Midnight Cowboy and I haven't used it since the last update so it's still there and my goal for this wasn't even to use it up anyway it was just to get some more use out of it and I did I think 
I think I did. I used it a few times over the past month and I like having it. It's not something that I don't want in my collection. I do want in my collection. Um, I have a minimal collection anyway and I just like having something that's fun, um, especially since I've been going out more lately, out on the town like the youngins do. So. Anyway, um, so the next product is pretty exciting. That's my season seven product. And for that, I chose my Milani blush in Luminoso. I don't know why I just smelled it. it smells weird. Anyway, um, I mean, it still looks like there's pigment, but that's pan. Like I can't, I was digging my brush in there and nothing was showing up on my face. So it's gone. I finished a blush this year. Yay. <laughs> so that's exciting. And then the last product is my, um, not season eight, it's the, uh, the Netflix revival product, and that was my ColourPop lippy stick in Aquarius. So, this is what's left. Not much. I put a little bit on today. It's not a color that I use for the show. Um, my show is, is, takes place in the 1940s, so I wear bright red lipstick. But, to show you my progress on it, That top line was where it was at the beginning. This is where it was now. This is where it was now. This is where it is now. So I've made progress on it. Um, I do think I can finish it by the end of the year and that's kind of my goal. I'm really tired of this product. I, I don't like how creamy it is um, for some reason. I'm just kind of over it. So I think I can use it up pretty quickly. It's a really easy color to throw on. So yeah, this should be done really soon. So anyway, there we go. That is it for this project pan. And as of right now, that's it for project panning for me on my channel anyway, for a really, really long time. So out of eight products, I used up, I guess technically nine because of my snafu with the season three prompt. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, five products out of nine that I ended up panning for this project. So I am calling that a success. I'm really pleased with myself. Um, and you know what? I've barely been buying any makeup. Like, I haven't bought makeup since my last makeup haul, which I did um, for when I was in Romeo and Juliet because I needed makeup for the show. So I haven't bought makeup since then. I'm not, like, I don't know. I'm not really buying anything. My priorities have definitely changed over the last couple of months. And if you've been following along on the videos that I've been posting lately, you'll know that just my interest in makeup has decreased a lot because of the things that have been going on in my life. Um, and I'm focusing on, on ways that I can improve my life um, on a more, like just on a deeper level. And makeup is important. I mean, I, I will always have makeup in my life. I do like it as a form of self-expression and you know it makes me feel good about myself when i wear makeup but i'm not going to be trying to i don't know i'm not i'm just not thinking about it as much as i used to so i hope you have enjoyed following along with me on this project pan if you have give this video a thumbs up um don't bother subscribing if all you're here for is project pans because those are ending i'm sorry um I just gotta be selfish for a while on my channel. So, but please don't forget to check out Elle. Elle is all about makeup. She is so incredibly talented and creative with it. And she still inspires me so very much. And I will continue to support her in all that she does because she's just a really amazing person. So please check her out. Please subscribe to her. You won't regret it. Um, and with all that said, have a wonderful day, you guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye.